Your eyes don't see reality. They see waves, light, sound, touch. All of it is vibrations, frequencies, signals your brain translates into the movie you call life. But what if the projector is lying? For centuries, science reassured us the universe is solid, predictable, reliable. Newton's apple fell because of gravity. The planets turned like clockwork. The table you lean on feels firm because matter itself is firm. That's the comfort of classical physics. But then came cracks in the story. Einstein showed that time can bend, stretch, and twist depending on how fast you move or how heavy the object beside you. Quantum mechanics went further, saying the tiniest building blocks of matter don't even exist as solid things. They flicker, vanish, reappear, existing only as clouds of probability until observed. So, which story do we trust? The solid mechanical universe of Newton or the dream like ghostly universe of quantum physics. In the early 1800s, scientists shined light through two slits and saw an interference pattern, as if light were a wave. Later, they tried the same experiment with electrons, expecting solid particles. Instead, the electrons also acted like waves, rippling and interfering. Then came the shock, the moment scientists observed which slit the electron passed through, the wave collapsed into a particle. Observation itself changed reality. In other words, the universe behaves differently depending on whether someone is watching. Picture two twins. One stays on Earth. The other boards a spaceship traveling close to the speed of light. When the traveling twin returns, they are younger, not by a few minutes, by decades. This isn't science fiction, it's time dilation, a proven measurable reality. Time isn't universal, it bends, stretches and fractures depending on perspective. The one clock fits all world you trusted, gone. In the 1990s, physicists studying black holes stumbled on a wild idea. What if everything inside them, all the matter, all the information, is actually encoded on the surface, like a cosmic hologram? This principle grew bolder. What if our entire universe is holographic? What feels 3D may just be a 2D layer of information projected into perception. Think about that. Your body, this room, the sky above, all possibly a cosmic holographic rendering. Psychologists put subjects in controlled rooms, changing the color of lights gradually. People swore walls were red when they were actually white. They remembered events that never happened. The brain can be tricked into hallucinations with just a few patterns of sound and light. In fact, your brain hallucinates constantly. It predicts what you'll see, then fills in gaps. Reality isn't streamed, it's guessed. And most of the time, you don't notice the guesswork. Put these stories together and reality begins to feel less like a solid brick and more like a soap bubble. Fragile, shimmering, always on the edge of bursting. Your senses, they don't deliver truth, they deliver signals and your brain paints over the blanks. Like a Netflix stream buffering in bad Wi-Fi, the brain fills missing pieces with assumptions. That's why you sometimes mishear words or see faces in clouds. Your reality is stitched together frame by frame. Physics whispers an even stranger truth. Atoms, once thought to be billiard balls of matter, are mostly empty space. 
Imagine an orange in the middle of a football stadium. That's the nucleus. The electrons? They'd be buzzing at the farthest seats. The rest? Pure emptiness. What feels solid is really electrical resistance. Touch a table and you're not touching wood. You're feeling repulsion of fields that never actually meet. Time isn't a river flowing the same for all. It's a web of eddies and warps. Astronauts orbiting Earth age milliseconds slower than people on the ground. GPS satellites must correct for this or maps would be off by miles. Your daily experience of time is a fragile synchronization trick, not a universal truth. And memory? The stories you tell yourself about who you are? Those two are slippery. Each recall is a rewrite. Scientists call it memory reconsolidation. Each time you remember, you bend the past. Like quantum particles, your identity is probabilities collapsing into temporary coherence. Science doesn't just break reality, it tears it apart stitch by stitch. The more we look, the less solid it becomes. Newton's certainty has given way to Einstein's relativity, to quantum shadows, to holographic whispers. We live in a universe that refuses to hold still long enough to pin down. And here's the strangest part. The deeper science goes, the closer it sounds to the mystics. The Buddhists who said everything is impermanent. The Hindus who spoke of Maya. The Gnostics who claimed the world was a shadow projection. Now physics itself, once the anchor of certainty, circles back to the same suspicion. So, what does this mean for us? If matter is mostly empty, if time is relative, if memory is a rewrite, if observation itself alters existence, then reality isn't absolute. It's rendered, a delicate ongoing performance, a vortex of waves, perception and coherence holding chaos at bay. But what holds the vortex together? Why doesn't it all collapse? Why do we wake up day after day into a world that feels consistent enough to live in? Here's where the coherence lens reframes everything. Reality doesn't have to be real in the absolute sense. It only has to be coherent. Think of music. A single note is just vibration. But when notes align into harmony, you hear a melody. That's coherence. Break the harmony and you hear noise. Reality works the same way. Particles, waves, memories, perceptions. They don't need to be true. They need to align, to resonate, to stabilize. Coherence explains why society works at all. Billions of humans, each hallucinating their own version of reality, still manage to build cities, write books, fall in love, not because they share absolute truth, but because they share enough coherence to keep the movie playing. And when coherence fails, dreams shatter into chaos, trauma splits memories, Politics fractures into warring realities. The vortex destabilizes. That's incoherence. So science doesn't destroy reality. It shows us the scaffolding. And coherence is the invisible glue that makes the scaffolding livable. So, next time you tap your table or glance at the clock, ask yourself, is this solid truth or just coherence holding the illusion together? Because in the next rabbit hole, we'll dive into cultural mirrors, where movies, myths and stories might be showing us more truth than textbooks ever dared. Follow the white rabbits. The code runs deeper than you think.
Take you through the lights. 